Hi, I'm Becky from Let's Make Geek Stuff, and today I'm making this classic Spartan Roman style helmet out of inexpensive anti-fatigue floor mats that you can buy at your hardware store. I'm tracing my pattern pieces out here onto this one centimeter thick um, foam. It's This is actually just an anti-fatigue mat that you buy at a hardware store. Uh, you'll see one side has kind of the I don't know what you call that, the backing on it, and then this side is the clean side. They're pretty inexpensive. I need um, two of these, just reflective ones, These of uh, both these pieces and four of these. This is the dome. I've made sure to cut the little notches out of the pattern. I'm going to mark those really good because I'll thank myself later. I've cut out all my pieces. You'll notice on the face mask there is a bevel. Um, I cut that out on my bandsaw, but if you don't have a bandsaw at home, let me show you how you would do that with just a box cutter. Here's a scrap piece of foam that I have. Um, put it at the edge of your table and line it up where you want the bevel to be cut. Extend your uh, box cutter blade. And then estimate uh, the angle of your bevel with the blade here. And when you have the angle that you want, You just go ahead and pressing against the table, just kind of saw through your foam. All my pieces are cut out, all the notches are clearly labeled, and I'm ready to glue this thing together. I'm going to start with the dome here. I've laid out the dome uh, just so I can visualize it. My next step is I'm going to heat where it's marked on the pattern, these circles. I'm going to make the domes convex. Um, with the circles being the top of the bend. I have all my dome pieces heated and shaped and I'm ready to glue. I am using contact cement. This one is just the one that's available at my local hardware store. Uh, there's a few other glue choices. You can just Google glue for EVA foam. I've waited about 10 minutes. You can tell contact cement is ready when it kind of loses its shiny. And so these pieces are ready to glue. This is kind of the most important step. If you can line it up, line up the notches, line up the edges perfectly here, then fixing seams later is going to be so much easier. Now that I have the dome put together, I'm just going to add some heat and do some shaping over my knee to give it that nice curved look. The dome is done, so I'm ready to glue the face mask together. Gluing these cheek pieces together, I'm using some parchment paper so it doesn't glue before I am ready. It requires some pushing and pulling because lining up these notches just right is going to create the tension in the foam I need for these cheeks to hold their unique shape. Now that I've glued these pieces together, I'm going to take advantage of the tension here and create just a slight curve in these cheek pieces. So I'm going to throw a towel over my knee so the glue doesn't get on my pants. You could apply some heat here too. It's not a big bend, so it's not absolutely necessary. Just going to kind of pop that out and shape that. And that's going to wrap now around the face when you wear the helmet.
Because the EVA foam I'm using has this backing on it, I wanna remove that backing. It just doesn't glue very well. So I'm gonna remove a strip of this backing so that it will adhere to the dome um, more securely. While I have the Dremel out, I did Dremel around these edges. If you have the nicer quality craft foam that doesn't have this sort of backing on it, you can just skip this step. But it's just nice when you see the helmet from the side, you don't see those ridges peeking through. Okay, now I'm going to put these pieces together. This kind of wraps around meets in the back. Just going to line it up. So these two should be about the same level in the back. And then kind of like the rim should be just under the eyes in the front. And then the seam should line up, front seam, back seam. This is just a white wax pencil. And I'm gonna mark. The glue's dry, uh, the dome is oval shaped, so make sure that you get the one of the fronts facing forward. And I'm just gonna line up the lines, that the center line and then the line that I glued. When you have everything where you want it, just press down. Now that I have a better idea what the shape of this face is gonna be, I'm just gonna, you can apply a little heat here too. It's gonna shape these. And that's more of the look I was going for. I'm gonna glue on this back rim. This have a, has a nice uh, bevel here and it's gonna to attach to this outer layer right there. Now that the helmet is done, I'm gonna work on the crest. Um, I'm doing my crest to foam's thick because that's the thickness I want. Because I'm using this inexpensive foam, I will need to Dremel off these edges so that it will glue together. Uh, this is where you could really personalize it. These crests look different on every helmet. You could change the shape. You could add bristles between, like colored bristles. You could cut out columns on it. Uh, this just really your uh, imagination is the limit. All right, now I'm just gonna measure out where I want this on the helmet and mark it. Just look at my markings, line everything up. All right. There you go. Thanks for joining me today on this tutorial. I think this is a great classic helmet that's found in so many movies, so many video games, and it's really easy to personalize to meet your needs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. This pattern is available on my Etsy shop. It's less than $10, along with the patterns for those helmets back there, also Mando helmets, Viking helmets, um, all made out of inexpensive EVA foam. So come and check it out and I hope you enjoy.